Joe Zillig, um, let's see, Harry J. Race, the Ellery's, Charles T. and William B., um, DJ Dave, Little Quinwans, Perlita Quinwans, GPS Passover Robo Minister, and Gordon, and anybody who thought the Challenger shuttle explosion back in 87 was funny, right? See, now, Dave, since you're a terrorist, you owe NASA $1.7 billion for one rocket. Okay, because that's how much it could to replace the to replace that 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 vehicle. One point seven billion. All right, and now and that's just the you know because I wasn't old enough when I was in Cuttingham to be in a part of a gang. But see, that's the whole thing when you guys want to run a terrorist attack and make it known that you guys do all this stuff in your defiance. The police and the military and all that who take care of things and manage things get to go, hey, look. So you just, I mean, that one incident alone, you tabulated, the group of you tabulated $1.7 billion of debt. Okay, so now what about Google, IJS, all these companies that you went after that me and my friends went after, or I'm sorry, me and my friends worked at that you guys went after, Joe, for your attack because you supposedly had a better idea or you wanted to place yourself up as the I or the Adam and Eve of the world, okay? And so, like I said, I have another reference to Florida. So it sounds to me that one of you took the information I provided and, and since you had a lot of money and did your little journey around the earth based upon information provided by homeless people, doctors, all this, and then you use that as your atheist excuse. Well, that's not how things work. And if you're going to be a leader like that, David, and little Quinn Juan, little Lita Quinn Juan, and, you know, GPS Paso Robo Minister, and keep docking in down here in, in California and, re, re, and reinstituting your reign of terror on the earth, it makes you look dumb. So the military, you have to clean that up and babysit the police and Aurora and in New York and um, see the insurance cost of the Twin Towers, right? How much did he get paid? See, now the insurance companies and the medical facilities can put the bill in your hands, minister. Because you claim to be the GPS anklet man, the, the ruler of the earth. See, now you get to pay the insurance company, which paid off, you know. I mean, is that the way you guys want to run the world? You see how we're inflating, the budget inflates based upon you guys' behavior, attitude, and all that. So what country do you want to represent, Lita? Mexico? Spain? I would set up hospitals, right? And that place is in Canada, you know, because you guys might have to provide health care for the United States. Get it? Italy, right? If you model our health care, or okay, the hospitals here, build hospitals in those nations that you want to help, Africa and all that, then you guys have to return that help as the United States helped those nations in the 80s and the 70s, right? Back, give and take, give and take. And then that inflation in the United States will go down. Right? easier to live instead of playing treasure hunter or poke the eye or poke the body and make people sick David if you're starved I don't know if you want to be the Messiah of the earth because you're not and as I feed this more and more information to you guys and you get a bill handed to you people are gonna laugh at you because it's gonna come out that you tortured for it Joe and you went after and used your family to do it instead of like, go at the real political level and so that's probably why Barack Obama and some of those presidents and the Congress and politicians are laughing at you guys. Because slowly, David, they're teaching your group how to run a government. But as you take it over, you're going to owe families a crap load of money, them a lot of money, Hollywood celebrities. I mean, the list goes on as you take over your claim of the earth. It doesn't make you gods. It means, hmm. you probably should have kept things together when it worked the first time. Because when you admit stuff like that... DJ Dave, you, you know, they don't hear it. Fade it out. I'm the Indian fader out. People still hear it. And you can set satellites up to listen to your broadcast, Dave, because what you're doing isn't really God. Because <laughs> you didn't embody, you used technology to do it, and we can prove that, right? So, little Lita watching everything through a camera, relaying a message, watching things that I do, downloading stuff. Um, you know, there are people who have been out here, been out here a lot longer than me, Dave, and they know the whole story about how some of you went through and tore up their city and then Brian moved out. <laughs>